Letter 158. You will not perish on account of thirsts with which you do not sympathize. You will not perish on account of thirsts with which you do not sympathize and from which you are at least try to be freed. Only repent and humble yourself, and God will forgive you. With regard to the enemy depicting for you life in the world and marriage, that is his wound. Both in olden times and in our own fornication and the supposed ease of life in the world are the very first weapons of the devil against monastics. However, if you are enticed by these things but later repent, God will not account it to you as a sin. You may take in your sister for now for a visit, but take care lest she ruin your manner of life, which is feeble enough as it is. To ask elders for advice and then not fulfill it out of reliance on one's own cleverness is sinful, but not to fulfill it out of weakness is pardonable, and to reproach oneself for not having fulfilled it is saving. The Lord hears everyone's prayers. It is only those of the proud that he does not accept but he always accepts the prayers of the humble and of those who reproach themselves. The Lord is helping you, only you do not see this. He cannot forsake you because he loves you.